What would you do if you're scrolling on your favorite social media feed and everything just stops? Not just a temporary outage, but a total blackout. Not just a blackout, but a global blackout of the digital realm all across the globe or flat plane if you wish. It would begin slowly at first. Websites load slower. Emails fail to send. Social media feeds freeze. Then silence. Stick around while we explore the possibilities of a worldwide digital blackout. The world, used to instant connectivity, would be thrust into a state of bewilderment and chaos. So, what would this look like? Stick around as we explore the possibilities of this nightmare. Imagine a bustling city. People of all ages are on their phones, some crossing streets without looking up, others waiting for rideshare pickups. Slowly, one by one, they all stop. The screens freeze. Blank faces stare down at lifeless devices. The constant hum of data transfer would be replaced by an unsettling stillness. Confusion would reign as people check their devices, only to be met with blank screens. The invisible threads that connect us all would be severed, leaving billions stranded in a digital desert. Businesses would grind to a halt, cut off from clients and partners. For millions, the internet was their livelihood. Creators, entrepreneurs, influencers, their worlds evaporate in an instant. Followers gone, likes erased, streams silenced. The seamless flow of emails, video conferences, and instant messages that keep the corporate world spinning would be disrupted, leading to chaos and confusion. Schools and universities would revert to traditional methods of teaching, with chalkboards and textbooks replacing digital screens and online resources. Families and friends, used to constant contact, would be left wondering about the well-being of loved ones. The comfort of a quick message or call to check in would be gone, replaced by a gnawing uncertainty. Emergency services, heavily reliant on digital communication, would face unprecedented challenges. Coordinating responses, dispatching help, and managing crises would become exponentially harder, putting lives at risk. The art of letter writing would make a comeback, as people seek alternative ways to stay connected, relying on postal services to bridge the gap. In the midst of the chaos, a silver lining emerges. People would rediscover the joy of face-to-face -face conversations. Children would play outside without the distraction of gadgets and communities would come together in ways they hadn't in years. The day the world went offline would be a day of reflection, a reminder of our dependence on technology and an opportunity to reconnect with the world around us in its most natural form. Imagine waking up one day to find that your phone is nothing more than a paperweight. The once buzzing device, now eerily silent, unable to connect you to the world. Cell phones, reliant on internet-based networks, would be rendered useless for calls and messaging. The familiar sound of notifications, the lifeline of our daily interactions, would vanish. No more texts, no more calls, just an unsettling silence. Social media platforms, our virtual town squares would fall silent. The endless scroll of updates, photos, and messages would come to a halt. The vibrant digital communities we've built would suddenly feel like ghost towns. Panic would set in as the realization dawns, we are alone, disconnected in a world that thrives on connection. The very fabric of our society, woven together by the threads of communication, would begin to unravel leaving us to navigate an unfamiliar and unsettling reality. E-commerce, a cornerstone of modern business, would come to a halt. Online banking and financial transactions would be impossible. Global supply chains, reliant on real-time data exchange, would be thrown into disarray. Industries like travel, entertainment, and media, heavily dependent on online platforms, would face massive losses. The Internet's absence would trigger a financial earthquake, sending shockwaves through every sector of the global economy. The impact on daily life would be equally profound. 
Navigation apps, once indispensable, would be useless. Smart homes would become dumb again, their automated systems offline. Access to information readily available at our fingertips would be severely limited. Online education would be disrupted, forcing a return to traditional methods. The Internet's absence would force us to relearn how to navigate our world, relying on outdated methods and rediscovering the value of face-to-face -face interaction. However, amidst the chaos, humanity's ingenuity would shine through. Radios, landlines and fax machines would experience a resurgence. Old technologies once relegated to the attic would find new life. The need to communicate would drive innovation. New offline networks and communication systems would emerge. Communities would come together, sharing resources and information. The Internet's absence, while disruptive, would also spark a wave of creativity and adaptation as we strive to rebuild our interconnected world. Faced with a common threat, nations would set aside differences and work together to restore the Internet. In times of crisis, the barriers that once divided us would crumble, revealing a shared goal that transcends borders and politics. Leaders from around the world would come together, united by the urgent need to reconnect our digital world. Engineers and tech experts would pool their knowledge, racing against time to identify the cause of the outage and find a solution. Their expertise would be crucial as they navigate the complex web of technology that underpins our global communication systems. Every second would count, and their dedication would be a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty. Governments would coordinate efforts, sharing resources and expertise. International conferences would be held, with flags from every nation symbolizing the unity and cooperation that is essential in overcoming such a monumental challenge. The exchange of information and strategies would be vital in ensuring a swift and effective response. The global community, united in its disconnection, would strive to rebuild the digital bridges that once connected us. In offices and high-tech environments, diverse groups of people would come together, brainstorming and collaborating on innovative solutions. Community members would discuss technology projects, contributing their unique perspectives and skills to the collective effort. This global effort would be a testament to our collective resilience and our unwavering belief in the power of technology to unite us. As individuals work on computers in tech hubs and digital workspaces, the scenes of teamwork and collaboration would highlight the strength of our interconnected world. Celebrations of technological achievements would serve as a reminder of what we can accomplish when we come together, driven by a common purpose and a shared vision for the future. The Internet's sudden disappearance would serve as a reminder of our dependence on this invisible network. We would realize the extent to which it permeates every aspect of our lives, from communication and commerce to education and entertainment. The outage would force us to confront our digital addiction, to acknowledge the value of face-to-face -face interaction, and to appreciate the analog world that exists beyond the screen. It would be a wake-up call, urging us to find a healthier balance between our online and offline lives. In the aftermath of the outage, the focus would shift to rebuilding the Internet, but this time with a focus on resilience. Redundant systems would be put in place, designed to prevent future outages. Cybersecurity measures would be strengthened to protect against similar events. The Internet, reborn from the ashes, would be stronger, more secure, and more resilient than ever before. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Also, don't forget to encourage us by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video.